I'm so hungry. <sighs> guys, this is like an embarrassment. Hi guys, my name is Sally and I am the Chief Marketing Officer here at McCart. Today I'll be answering some of your questions and I'll also be doing my nails at the same time. So I am not a professional nail tech, um, but I almost feel like since I've been around so many nail techs for the last year, I feel a little bit more confident than I probably should. And we'll see how this kind of goes. So to get started, I got these little nail stands from Amazon. These are super easy to use. I actually saw these on um, Jackie Maker Loves TikTok Live. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try this because I am the worst. Like my hands are shaky all the time and I can't, you know, paint gel polish or anything um, properly. So this is going to be really exciting to try this method out. So the way you use these is you put these little like white blue tacks on here and you pick out your nails and you stick them on here and you paint them. So this way, you know, there's no edge issue. You're not gonna have like a messy edge because you know, you have these little nail stands and you're gonna get perfect nails. So we'll see how I do. So first off, I'm just gonna pick out a bunch of my nail sizes and I'm actually using our big old bag of nails and um, I'm just going to measure out my nails real quick. So let's see, I think I'm a two on the thumb. I'm gonna use my trusted white nail file 100 and 180 grit um, from McCart and I'm just going to start taking off um, some of the little ends up here so that it comes out perfect. And I'm going to just attach them onto the nail stand. Uh, so the first step is I'm going to apply a base coat onto these nails. And once I do that, I'm going to take a lamp and just cure it for a couple seconds. So while I do this, let's answer some of your questions. So the first question is, how, how did you come to work from a cart? So I came to McCart um, not that long ago. I actually joined McCart in sometime around this time last year. Um, and I was actually approached by McCart's founder who I've known for years um, from when I was working at Amazon. And he was like, listen, um, you know, I, I need some help. I wanna grow our brand. I really want to provide better products to the market. Um, and make sure that you know our, our community and our loyal customers feel excited about our products. Will you join me? And I had been working in corporate for about 10 years at that time. So I was like, okay, you know what? This is gonna be such an adventure um, and I'm just gonna go for it. So I said yes, and that's how I came to work for McCart. What is your favorite part about working for McCart? Oh my gosh, it's sample testing. So our production team sends over like so many samples to my office every single week. Um, and it's basically just like new colors, new charms, new you know formulas that they've come up with. I have an entire office filled with so much samples that it's getting like ridiculous. Um, I really need to start cleaning these samples out, but it is so fun. I love just like testing every single color and then deciding if it's something that you know, we want to launch on the market or do we want to scrap it or maybe leave it for a next collection or something. Um, so that is probably my favorite part about working at McCart. Okay, so now that I have all the base coat on, I'm just going to go ahead and cure this with my trusted um, awesome color mini curator lamp. By the way, I love this lamp because I can take this anywhere. I've taken this to so many places. I think one time I probably sat in a meeting and started like curing my nails <laughs> at the same time. So, okay, so while we're doing that, uh, while I wait for these nails to cure, let's move on to the next question. Um, so, okay, the third question, what was it like working with Emily Susanna? Oh my gosh, Emily Susanna is probably like the best. Um, I personally loved working with her and it was such a journey for us because, you know, McCart has never done an influencer collaboration before and Emily was definitely our first. 
Um, and Emily was so nice. Like she literally took us and handheld us through the entire process. Um, and she was so professional. She was so on top of it too. And we just, I, I think for us, like our first collaboration ever with any influencer, I'm so glad that it was with Emily because she just made it, you know, an amazing experience for us. And I think that's probably one of my favorite projects that I've done at McCart. Um, so I'm really glad that somebody asked that. So now that this is done curing, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Blanc gel polish because I really want to have like a really clean white base. Um, so, and by the way, guys, I love our gel polishes and I'm not just saying that because I work at McCart, I promise. Um, and the reason I love them is how saturated they are. Like I've tried so many different brands before just, you know, by myself, not, this is not, not related to McCart at all. And I've tried, um, so many different brands and I have to say there hasn't been a brand that I've found so far where the colors are as even and as saturated as McCart's color. And so I personally really appreciate that. So, okay, here we go. All right. And now I'm going to just cure the rest of it. Question four, will McCart do more collabs in the future? So yes, um, I'm really excited because we want to be able to have influencers and KOLs working with us from all different types of background, um, different styles so that we can really, you know, ensure that our audiences and our customers um, have options that they can select from. I know my lawyers are just like sweating somewhere right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yes, in the future, it is something that McCart will continuously be doing. And I'm super excited about that. Now that that's cured, I'm going to go ahead with a second coat and then I'm going to cure again for another 15 seconds. And once I'm done, I'm going to go in with the top coat to seal everything. So question number five. Oh my God. I love this question. How do I get on McCart's PR list? Good question, you guys. So Okay, getting on McCart's PR list is not hard at all. And I don't want everybody to think like, oh, you know, um, you have to have like a million subscribers and things like that to get on to McCart's PR list. Essentially, the way that my team does this is that we go on social media, you know, every, gets, every chance that we get, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, um, and we look for people who provide honest feedback um, to McCart. Without ambassadors and influencers that we work with today and the more that will come in the future as well, we wouldn't know what is good for our brand and what is not good for our brand if y'all don't tell us. So I think to answer that question, tag us on your post, tag us on your video, let us know that you know, you're putting something up about us so that my team can go in and watch um, and you know, understand like, okay, how was your experience with us? So essentially that's how people get onto our PR list. Um, they tag us, they let us know about their honest feedback, tell us what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong and where we need to improve. And that allows our teams to look and bring on the right people to be on our PR list. All right, so I finished curing my second layer and now I'm gonna go in with the McCart top coat. By the way, I love this top coat because this is probably one of the shiniest no wipe top coats I've found and I'm in love. Like when our production team gave me this, I was like, okay, we need to have this. We like can't do anything else except for this. <laughs> Can you talk about rebranding and repackaging at McCart? Um, that one of our ambassadors, a Slay by J, actually put up a video um, about our one of our awesome color collections. And she had mentioned that she wanted to know who is behind all these colors and who is behind uh, all the naming and the packaging. And I know a couple of you have actually also asked the same question to us. Um, and that's kind of the reason why my team had me do this today. And that is because that would be me. I come up with all of the naming at to McCart and I also come up with the packaging, the design, um, as well as the color palettes at McCart. Okay, so now that I've applied the top coat, I have my little tweezer that I got from the Ocean Couture set. By the way, I love that set because it comes with so much stuff. Um, and I'm going to use these little rhinestones, these AB rhinestones from that set. I love this one. And I'm going to do some nail designs on here. 
Now that I picked out my rhinestone, I'm just gonna go ahead and add these onto my nail and we'll see how I do. I really hope that I don't mess this up and like embarrass the entire company. But all right, I have confidence. Here we go. So by the way, for those who are wondering, um, the rhinestone glue that I use is the McCart rhinestone glue and I really love this one. I think two things, number one is that the tip is like so tiny that it makes it really nice when I'm trying to do like accurate rhinestone work. And the second thing is that, guys, I've tried so many rhinestones, so just trust me on this. <laughs> um, I've tried so many different other brands and a lot of them actually will kind of dry on their own. And I'm not saying that's bad, but for me personally, because I mess up so much, it just makes it really difficult if I don't place the rhinestones properly and then the glue is already starting to dry on me. So this one I really love because it will dry under, or like it cures under the lamp, just like gel polish, just like poly gel. So I'm a big fan of this. And if you don't have this, the clear poly gels will also do kind of the same trick. So that's a, a tip. Um, okay, so now that I have everything done, I'm just gonna go ahead and start curing. All right, and I really hope that this comes out the way I want it to, because or else this would be incredibly embarrassing. Okay, so I've got everything done now, and now I'm gonna just start applying these to my fingers. So I have a glue. I have a glue, and I'm just going to add some glue. The very front of it and I'm not gonna add too much because I don't want the glue to start running everywhere on me and getting all over the place. Cause guys, these glues, they're strong. I use this not just on my nails. <laughs> like when there's like a crack in something in like a jar <laughs> or like, you know, something's broken on a camera. I'm like, hold on, here I come with my nail glue. So just be careful about it. Okay. Now I'm going to just apply this onto the nail and hold my nail down for a couple of seconds. All right. Okay, I think we're good to go. Guys, these did not turn out as bad as I thought they would turn out, but I'm actually really happy with my nails. These are probably the like my favorite nails that I've ever done so far, so I'm really happy. There we go, guys. And this is so pretty, like I feel so classy right now. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and comment down below. Um, and by the way, you guys, like if there are certain ideas for products that you really want us to come out with, tell us, like tell us in the comment section. I will read through every single one of them, I promise. Um, and so yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Have a good one and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.